it's very important to turn these two settings off right so that you're not being tracked now the first one go to privacy and security tracking right and turn all these off so that these apps do not track you now the second one right scroll down to uh, safari right and then scroll down to the very bottom of this page go to advanced okay and the second one right turn that one off as well Are you tired of moving your apps one by one just like that? Don't worry about that. Okay? Now when you tap and hold, okay, you can use another finger, right? And then you can move like many apps all together. Do you guys know that your iPhone listens to you for getting some suggestions? Now go to the settings, scroll down, it's privacy and security, and my refresh. Now your iPhone listens to you, right, for getting suggestions through all of these apps, okay? So you can turn them off, right, if you don't want it to listen to you. That's what. It's very important to turn these two settings off, right, so that you're not being tracked. Now the first one, go to privacy and security, tracking, right, and turn all these off so that these apps do not track you. Now the second one, right, scroll down to uh, Safari, right, and then scroll down to the very bottom of this page, go to advanced, okay, and the second one, right, turn that one off as well. To enable this, go to the settings, accessibility, touch, scroll down to the bottom, back tab. You've got two options here, double tap and triple tap, okay. Now for the double tap, you can choose any of these, okay, now I've chosen flashlight, right, if I double tap, if you find it annoying whenever you download an app from the app store i mean it asks you to enter the password of your apple id in this video i'm going to show you how you can stop that now go to the settings scroll down to face id and passcode now enter the passcode right and then turn the second one off and that's it next time when you download it there's no need to enter the password of your apple id you guys know that you can download any video from instagram for free and with no watermark now go to instagram right and go for the video that you want to download right now tap on the sharing button copy link go out right now go to the telegram now i'm in the save messages messages here right and i'm going to paste the copy link here right Next step, okay, now delete www dot and replace with double capital, you can say letter D, okay, double D, and then send. After that, okay, uh, tap and hold the sharing button here, right, and save video. Now the video is saved to your photos. Thanks for watching. Now go to the shortcuts, right, and tap on the plus button here, okay, and search for voice memos right scroll down and choose this one create recording tap on that one right done and that's it now the next step is right now lock your iphone okay tap and hold right and customize now top on tap on the lock screen okay tap here to add the widget okay now go for the shortcuts right and tap on this one right and then again tap on this again right to choose right the create recording shortcut right after that that's it and done right now if i tap on here right it will start recording okay so you can i mean do this i mean easily right from uh, your lock screen and it will record your voice or the thing that you want to record this is how you can add a tapping or moving indicator to your home screen uh, i mean iphone home screen while screen recording now go to the settings okay scroll down to accessibility and then touch after that you have to turn on assistive touch here all right and then tap on customize top level menu okay and add a new one all right now tap on the plus scroll down and choose tap here done now when i go back right and tap on the uh, assistive touch okay i have another option here which is tap all right now tap on tap all right and then you get this indicator all right which shows you i mean my uh we can say steps uh where i 
we can say uh, move my finger all right you can see what i'm doing this is really cool for uh, those who uh, screen record their iphone this shortcut is a must-have now go to the shortcuts tap on the plus here add action and write down shut down okay choose that one and then tap here okay choose the icon change the color and search for the symbol power okay choose that one and done okay now tap here okay and add to the home screen button now if you want to change the name okay you can just write down okay let's see All right shut down and add okay now I've got it here All right now if I like tap on this one here I can shut down my iPhone I mean just like that easily without holding the side button or even sometimes the side button with one of the volume buttons thanks for watching